Okay, we have an inverted pendulum system. It's a rotary pendulum. As you can see, the, the graphics in sync. It's basically picking up the encoders and transmitting the data back to the computer over there, which is then picked up using the distributed processing framework over here. So what I'm going to do as an initial test is I'm just going to go ahead and run it in open loop mode. Here I'm just sending an open loop voltage to the motor. And as you can see, the graphics following the physical pendulum model itself. And I'm going to go ahead and take it out of that mode and put it into a mode where it'll start trying to do a swing up and loop operation. So it's not going to do a hold at this point, it's just going to start swinging the pendulum. As you can see here, it's just trying to keep the pendulum moving. I'm going to go ahead and stop that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to go into the inverted position by sending the command. There we go. There's still a little noise in the sensor path. That's why you're getting the vibrations that are there. I've got to put a IIR filter in the loop to close that out. And as you can see here, and if I force it to fall, I hit it hard, it'll recover with the swing up algorithm. get it to back into the looping mode again. And we'll go back into a control, inverted control. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn the controller off. And of course it'll just fall at that point. There you have it.